I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a multiple choice question on quality functions. The question here is, determine the number of points of intersection of quadrilateral and linear function. f of x equals to minus 3x square minus 6x minus 10 and g of x equals to minus 5x minus 2 without solving. Explain your answer. Right. So, uh, so that's the kind of question we have. So let's try to understand how to solve such equations uh, without solving. That's kind of important. With solving, you could have checked b square minus 4 AC and found the answer. Okay. Now, what we are given here is that the function f of x is equal to minus 3x square minus 6x minus 10 and g of x is a straight line minus 5x minus 2 I mean okay minus 5x minus 2 so if you kind of look at it I mean I'm just trying to explain you here then you will realize that this straight line has a y intercept of minus 2 somewhere there as slope is minus 5 so this line is kind of going down kind of like this do you see that it's kind of I mean I mean sorry it's not through 0 okay the y-intercept is minus 2 you can see is it okay right so that is how this line is now if I look at this parabola I could actually split this part as like this minus 3x square and uh, we could do this we can take away minus 5x minus 2 from here so 6x could be written as minus x and I'm writing 10 let me write this as minus 6x minus 5x and I'll write minus 10 as minus 8 minus 2 and then I'll rewrite this equation as minus 3x square minus x minus 8 and on this side minus 5x minus 2 so so you, you see this part of this function is kind of like this that is your g of x now what you observe here is all these terms are negative right all these terms are negative so for any value of x negative Three times x square is going to be more negative than minus x, right? And therefore, this part of the parabola, this is another parabola, right? So we have a line, and this part is below this line because both all are negative. Doesn't make sense to you, right? And the y intercept for the function is minus 10. So it's kind of, if this is minus 2, this minus 10 will, must be kind of here. So we expect this parabola to be kind of like this. Do you see that? Since this part is always below this line. So you could write like, uh, kind of like this. This is your g of x. Let me show you this. This is your g of x. And this is, let us say, h of x. Is that okay? So you could write this as equals to g of x minus h of x. This is always negative, right? So, so what we really find is that they will never intersect. However, there will be a gap between the two because of this function. Is it okay? So that means they will never intersect. This implies that the two functions never intersect. This gap is always going to be there, right? So, never intersect. So, the answer is A, that the point of intersection is zero between them. I hope uh, you understand and appreciate the strategy which has been applied here. Feel free to post questions, subscribe to my videos, and if you like, that would be great. Thank you, and all the best.